guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope everything is going well. So for today's makeup look, I'm gonna do this eye look with you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you still didn't hit the notification bell and like this video. So now let's begin. So to begin this makeup look, I'm gonna do as always my eyeshadow base. This is Paint Pot in the shade Painterly by MAC. So I'm gonna apply the eyeshadow base all over the lid as usual using my fingers. And to do my makeup look today, I'm gonna use the Alternative Rock Palette by The Balm. I love the colors in this palette. I'm gonna start off using this cream beige eyeshadow right here in my crease today because this is kinda too dark to apply below my brows when I want to highlight. So I'm gonna use this eyeshadow to help me to blend the next eyeshadows that I'm gonna apply later on. And let me grab my brush. Oh my god, I have to grab everything because I forgot to leave it right here in front of me to play with makeup with you guys. Second. Okay, I'm back. And to blend the shadow in my crease, I'm gonna use this little fluffy brush, which I love. This is by Sigma, and this is in my brush set. This is my favorite precision brushes in this set. So I hope that you like it and I'm gonna leave the link down below in case you're interested to get it. I hope you are because <laughs> they are so good to create many different makeup looks. So let's go ahead and apply this eyeshadow. So as this cream eyeshadow is my first transition shade, I'm gonna apply just a little bit and work this eyeshadow in my crease, as you can see here. Using the same brush, I'm gonna just apply a little bit of this color right here in my crease. And this is a blush shade. I really love this blush shade too, it's as blush as well, of course, because it is a blush. But it's a very amazing pink shade. And to use it as eyeshadow, look here, guys. This is stunning. So I'm gonna apply a little bit, a little at a time, I mean. And blend in circular motions. that I forgot to do it previously. I had to apply the gel liner. This is Wicked by Sigma, a black gel liner using the angled brush. So I'm gonna pick up a little bit of the gel liner here from the cap. I'm gonna start drawing the shape of my angled makeup look. And what is left in the brush, I'm gonna place it here. Also, I'm going to place it here in the third of the eyes. Okay, I just created the shape of my eye makeup look. So now using this little tiny brush, I'm going to just blend the edges. Now, using the same brush, I'm gonna apply right on top of the gel liner this dark brown eyeshadow right here. Right, so now that I finished to blend these two colors together, the pink in my crease and the dark brown in the outer corner of my eyes, now I'm gonna apply the eyelid shades and I'm gonna use three. So I'm gonna use a shader brush to apply all these colors. 
I'm gonna use the darker pink here in the other corner, the lighter pink here in the middle of my eyelid, and right in the tear duct area, just a little bit, I'm gonna use this highlighter right here. And these colors together are amazing. So I'm gonna start applying the shades. to give this look a little more glam this is up to you guys I'm gonna apply a little bit of glitter like this side I'm gonna apply just a little bit without any glue or anything to just place the glitter on so I'm gonna use this glitter which is so thin I like this glitter so much this is by BH cosmetics in the shade smoky gold is so beautiful so here I have my glitter So that's it to create this glam effect, I just have to press the glitter in the eyelid and now I'm gonna remove the excess glitter from my face. And next I'm gonna just pop on some fake lashes and I be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I just applied my fake lashes. You can use this mascara if you want. For my lips today, I'm going to use Melt Cosmetics Liquid Lipsticks. And this is the shade Sydney, which is a beautiful pink shade. And also Lady Like, which is my favorite. I already have a little bit of lip balm in my lips to make it easier. And as you can see, I'm going to apply liquid lipstick. So I always, always have to apply a little bit of lip balm. And I'm gonna use this pink shade just in the center of my lips and the rest I'm gonna use around my lips I'm not gonna apply any contour today because I don't feel like <laughs> and next maybe I apply a little bit of lip gloss yes honey this lipsticks by Merge Cosmetics smell so good they are amazing and the formula and the quality oh my god i have nothing to say nothing else oh my god <laughs> they are just fabulous and the colors what to say about the colors well honey they are stunning all of them I like it so good I love this mixture so now I'm gonna see if I find some lip gloss to apply right on top I'm back and I decided to apply this lip strobe by Huda Beauty but I'm gonna apply just a little drop and this is the shade Angelic That's it for this look my lovies, I really love how this look turned out, this makeup look is very glamorous, is very girly, is very baby doll, I love it so much because it's soft but dramatic at the same time. So I really hope that you like it as well much as I did because I created this look with so much love for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I see you later in the next tutorials.